I just came back from Micro Center and spent about $2,500 or so, but it's for good reason because I'm about to build one of the best PCs that you can build yourself for both gaming and productivity with the i9 13900K and the 7900 XTX. This combo is about to be a beast and I'm so excited to see how it performs. So let's get to building. One more thing. Uh, yeah, I got about an hour and 15 minutes to build this because it's 10 o'clock on a Sunday and I have work in the morning and bedtime is quickly approaching. So we have to get going. Cue the timer. Okay, so I have my LS720 water cooler with deep cool that is. And I want it to go for a more all black aesthetic. I think I'm gonna take the RGB off of this and put on some all black fans on this as well. So I may regret that decision later, but we'll see. You love to see it. The PC came out looking great and everything went smooth. And you love to have those type of builds where you don't run into any issues from start to finish. But most importantly, I finished it in under an hour. So that means I can still get a good night's rest. So let's head to bed and uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay, let's pause for a second. It's been a couple of days since I completed the build. It's right there looking beautiful. Everything came out the way I wanted. But do you remember when I said this? I wanted to go for a more all black aesthetic. RGB has been the rave for a couple years, but I really want it to be different, more simplistic. Yeah, there might be a tiny change to that, and that's because my friend decided to offer me a free Lee and Lee 24 pin streamer, and there's no way I could turn that down. This is normally 60 to $65, so I couldn't just turn down a free RGB streamer for my 24 pins. I'm sorry for those that really wanted that calm black aesthetic. You got to see it for a few seconds there, but we are gonna go ahead and add this as well. It's free, how can, you can't blame me, it's free. So let's go ahead and add that. I think we're done. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it too well on camera here. This is a streamer. It is having a hard time on my camera being picked up, but nonetheless, it looks absolutely beautiful in person. And here, finally, is the final build.
All right, I have to say I'm disappointed. Not with the overall build itself because I do love the 13900K. Everything I throw at it, it eats up and I love it so much. I specifically bought this CPU for video editing and it handles that with ease. No matter what I put on the timeline, whether it's 4K videos, 1080p videos, graphics, effects, it doesn't matter, it handles it. And I really appreciate that from the CPU and I'm glad I made the right choice on that. But however, I am overall disappointed with my graphics card performance. Now I have the ASRock reference model of the 7900 XTX. If you don't know, a lot of the reference models have issues with the junction temps hitting 110 degrees. This is not normal, and because of that, I have to return the GPU, but I knew that that was probably a risk when I bought it. Some people get lucky, some people get unlucky. I am very unlucky, but that's not the only issue I'm having. I'm having a lot of butts here. That's also pretty concerning, but it's not the only issue that I'm having. I'm dealing with a lot of stuttering as well, and this was probably the most annoying thing about this GPU. It's the fact that every game I played, it didn't matter what game, I was experiencing micro stutters. Sometimes every 30 to 45 seconds, sometimes every couple of minutes, but regardless, it was pretty annoying. As someone who plays a lot of competitive first person shooters, you know that any bit of lag or stutter completely throws off your aim and it just makes it impossible to win gunfights. So. I was getting very, very frustrated while playing games. Now, I don't know if this is a my GPU issue or a overall AMD software issue, and a piece of me thinks this is an overall AMD software issue. And like any sane person in the 21st century would do, I got on Google to see if anybody else was having similar issues with the stuttering. And surprisingly, a lot of people on Reddit were saying the same things, but not just with the 7000 series GPUs. It was also with the 6000 series. So this seems to be an across the board AMD software issue. And because of that, I'm pretty concerned with getting another 7900 XTX because obviously if this is a software issue, it's gonna be across the board no matter what 7900 XTX model that I get. I don't live close to a micro center, so I have to travel a couple hours just to get to the nearest one. I can't be going back and forth if something goes wrong with my GPU. So I really gotta make sure I make the right decision this time, whether that's a 7900 XTX, a 4080, or maybe even a 4090. Okay, no, the 4090 is not happening, but whatever I choose next, I really have to make sure I make the right choice. So maybe hit that subscribe button and see what I do end up choosing and if it was the right choice. But until then, be safe, take it easy, and I'll see you next time.